Hey everybody, this is Heidi again for All Free Knitting, and in today's beginner-friendly knitting tutorial, we're going to learn how to knit the stockinette stitch, aka probably the most universal stitch in knitting. So stockinette stitch is probably the most common stitch in knitting. Um, if you look at this swatch, this is what stockinette looks like. So this looks just like how you would look or what you would see if you were looking close up at a knit fabric t-shirt or store-bought sweater. You know it's stockinette stitch when it's all of these little V's on one side and all of these squiggly bumps on the other side. This V side is generally considered the right side and the squiggly side is considered the wrong side. Let me show you how to do this universal stitch. So I've cast on eight stitches, to, for demonstration's sake, on the needle. You can cast on literally any number of stitches for stockinette. So for the right side row, row one, you knit all the way across. All right, knit all the way across that first right side row. Then turn your work like you're turning the page of a book. That's what I always tell people when I'm teaching them to knit. And now you're on the wrong side. And see, we've already got these little bumps formed by that first row that are starting to form the bumps of the wrong side of the stockinette stitch. Now for the wrong side rows, or in this case row two, we'll purl across. So now there's two rows of bumps on the wrong side and turning your work like you turn the page of a book, you can see the V's starting to form the right side of your knitting. So again, this is what the stockinette swatch looks like up close. Right side, wrong side. And in stockinette, you knit all right side rows, and on wrong side rows, you purl. I hope you enjoyed this beginner-friendly tutorial for stockinette stitch. And since it is designed with beginners in mind, feel free to leave a comment if there's anything you want clarification on. Give us a like if you like this video and it worked well for you. And don't forget to subscribe for even more free knitting video tutorials.